Are you ready for some football? No. A Thursday night party! No. No. We're jacking them boys. Get at them Tampa Bay Bucks. No. Cause it's the Cowboys. Oh, don't hate. Girl, your team don't even have a name. It's called the football team. Until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna get into this charcuterie board. Some of the, uh, a little, I ain't gonna say too healthy because it's got salami and all that stuff in it, but it's a lighter touch to pre-gaming. It's not a bunch of fried foods and mystery meats like hot dogs. <laughs> all right, and to top it off, we've been wanting to do this video for like months months for the charcuterie board since mother's day yes and this one right here has been trying to get in my gift <laughs> you know how you gonna buy for me and they're still trying to open it like that, you that was a double gift yeah i knew that so we're gonna jazz it up today we're gonna show y'all what it started out with what, what he bought me and then what else we're gonna add to it so let's get started let's get into it yeah. oh, that hurts. okay y'all so what we got here, so this is the box that I originally got from Mother's Day. And I was so excited, y'all, when he gave this to me. And it got a little bit of everything. So you got your, hold on, you moving too fast. Ooh. So peanuts. And then we have some pretzels. And it got all the little fancy string in there. Some cashews. So we got a lot of peanuts in this one. Yes. With any charcuterie board, you're gonna have your crackers. Okay. And then the main thing, other charcuterie board. Charcuterie. charcuterie. That's one of them tongue twisters. Forget Worcestershire. I could say Worcestershire. No. But it's that charcuterie. 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 Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the summer sausage, beef, and pork. This is like salami and pepperoni. So we're gonna go ahead and slice that up. And then this one is the beef sausage. It says ground to be great. Now this is the cheeses that came with the charcuterie board. And we also had... those meats came with it too. Yes, yeah, so everything out of the box is what we're showing y'all right now. This is some vintage cheddar. Can you play your favorite? And then this one is some jalapeno pepper cheese. So the theme of this one must be vintage. Mm -hmm. This stone ground mustard, that's to put with your meats on top of your cheese. And then here's some more crackers. No, this is a, I believe a cheese spread. Okay, so yes, this is the cheese spread. Just like how they got it in the picture, you will put the cheese spread on top of the cracker. And you see this board came with a lot by itself. Now this is also another type of cheese spread that came with the board. Hold it down a little bit. This is called Camber, Camberberts. Y'all, if it's one thing, Camberberts. 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 Camembert. You gonna really put your? I don't know. <laughs> you really gonna put your spell into the test when yes, it comes you will. to dang going cheeses. And also, there was another set of crackers, but I got hungry one morning and I ate them. They were like this, but it was a red box. You see what I'm talking about? Come with y'all. So here's some of the stuff we got today to add to the charcuterie yes. board. Italian dried salami. Reduced sodium. Can't have a good old charcuterie board without that fresh fruit. So we got the grapes. We got the, what's those, blueberries? Blueberries. And some good old cheeses mm -hmm. that are super hard to say. Manchego, queso de cabra. And this is a goat's milk cheese. This one is like a milk cheese. And then Iberico. Oh my God. Iberico. Iberico. Y'all help us I out in the comments. I don't know. know. Okay. <laughs> Let us know if y'all tried to do Hey, look, these. spelling wasn't my strong suit. <laughs> I like math. Now these things right here. These, oh yes. We're gonna add this to it. Oh. Now this ain't a part of it. I ain't mm. seen no waffles on the charcuterie. Me board, neither. But we're gonna throw these on there today. Yeah, I know. Roll with the fam. You always see something new and different. And also we have fresh mozzarella wrapped in salami. Uh help me out, I'm drawing a blank. Italian style meat. So pepperoni, uh what's it? Uh it's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? The prosciutto. Prosciutto. I'm looking Dang. right at it and can't <laughs> even say it. Oh, yes, yeah, at the bottom. Pepperoni, prosciutto, and soppressata. Look, it's yeah. on the tip of my tongue. Look, look. I love my Italian. Salami. Yes, we're going we gonna to do it. So we're going to go ahead and start putting this together, y'all. These are the fun things that you can do for any type of entertainment, whether it's birthdays, football. Um, Anything. Date night. Hell, just because. Okay. 
And this is like a mixture of all kinds of different red fruits, strawberries, um, cranberries, raspberries. This was pretty bitter though. I thought it was gonna be a little sweeter. Mm. It was a little bitter. So it depends on what cheese you eat it with. Yeah. That's what's gonna make it good. And then we have a blueberry one. Blueberry. Y'all see that one is almost gone. We didn't already been into that. On some English muffins. Oh yeah. So as you can see, right now nothing is done. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now is to walk y'all from start to finish of how to put this thing together. So make sure y'all don't go anywhere. Hit that like button and subscribe button. Learn a thing or two in the channel. And again, no cowboys. All right. Now, this is the part, the fun part. The best part. The main part. Oh, is when we put down uh, the actual stuff. So I'm going to chop this one. And mom, she's going to chop that one. Is everybody ready for some football? No. Why not? I mean, at least we're not going to get quarantine football this year. <laughs> They're going to have uh, people back in the stadiums. And also, my man Dak, you know, he's back. Where he go? Oh, y'all ain't heard? He was injured. Let's see. We don't keep up with the Cowboys. Oh, team. yes, we do. She fronting on the camera. <laughs> she know about them Cowboys. He's been trying to convert me since the beginning of our relationship. This thing smells really good, y'all. Yeah. Mm. It's super shiny. Damn. Hold on, y'all, real quick. How come it's okay for me to eat these raw, but you complain when I eat the kielbasa's raw? These aren't raw. These are fully like cooked. This is a fully cooked meat. The kielbasa. Just like how, just like how if, and you guys slice a little thinner than that. Okay. Just like how if you were eating like some salami or something. This is fully cooked. The kielbasa's be fully cooked too. No, they do not. <laughs> All you do is warm it. No, you do not. <laughs> you have to cook that. That's raw meat. All right, now that we've got our pieces cut up, we can lay them out pretty. I'll take the little half, the piece of the sausage that I didn't cut, and I'll just, you know, set it up right there, make it look nice. And then I'll set, spread some other pieces out right behind it. Okay. And this is mommy's side. Yep. Yeah, you set it up right here. It's no particular order. Just make it look pretty. It's like a puzzle piece yeah. at the end. Yeah, just lay it out, make it look nice, make it accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to kind of like pile it up. You want to have it so people can reach in and grab one or two slices. I'm gonna taste one now. I know, right? What it tastes like? Mm. Tastes good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice and rich. The happy day. Yeah, that's not actually skin. That's like paper. Oh, sure. I ate it. Oh. See, that's the skin right there. I didn't eat mine. And this is like a paper. So don't eat the paper, y'all. <laughs> Take the paper off, because that's the skin right there. All right, so the next thing we're going to place are some waffles. Mm -hmm. Mom's going to chop up two of them. I'm going to chop up two of them. And these are a little sweet, too. Yeah. Let's make it Add some sweet to the board. You know, the kids, they love their sweet. They ain't watching the game no way, so... They ain't just feeding their face. <laughs> ain't nobody watching the game but me and Twan. Yeah, that's all they do, Madden. Madden all day. Mm-hmm. Madden all night. Cutting them into like little squares. Mm-hmm. And these would be perfect if you're making like little mini like um, chicken and waffles because you see the little size of it. Mm-hmm. These would be perfect too. All right, I'm gonna have to get daddy to do mine too because he's making these things mm -hmm. look better. Let's put them in the little bite-sized pieces. You can grab a piece of the meat. You can grab a piece of the cheese. Put it on top of it and bite it all together. Yes. Now, also, if you want, if you, you know, really entertain it. Sure. Yeah, you want to go ahead and label it. Mm -hmm. You can pull out your labels and put labels beside everything. Right. Because by the time you get halfway through, you're going to forget which is which. Yes, let's do some cheeses. Okay. Let's put this one right here. What about cheeses? We're not going to use all of this cheese, so probably like a piece from each section. What do mm -hmm. you think? Yeah, I feel a piece from each section is pretty good. Then we just chop it up into little bite-sized pieces. So this rind part right here, we can cut that off. 
because that's hard. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that at all. Okay, so you actually separate them again. So they're already separated. Yeah, they're already in slice. Okay, that's cool. But you can also just cut the big round off all at one time too. Okay. Instead of doing it in pieces. All right, where should we put put some on the side? This yeah, put some on each side of the cheeses on the meats. And then separate them. Mm-hmm. And this is where your little name tags will go. Yeah. Like right there. So you could individualize the cheeses. You could know which ones is which. I don't even realize which one I'm using now. So comment down below and let us know what type of cheeses y'all put in your charcuterie board. Let me know what kind of meats and stuff y'all would prefer. And also, don't forget, what kind of wild cards do y'all like to throw on your charcuterie board? only thing we don't have is some honey yeah we should have got some honey mm -hmm. just fit in the blanks with everything else oh that dropping cheese mm -hmm. bumbo uh -oh. that's a good cheese in the middle you tasted it already yeah i like that so we're gonna go ahead and then these are your fluff you know your fluff sections once you got your meat your cheeses then you can just go ahead and start adding stuff in between yeah like your your blueberries, whatever else kind of fruit you have. Oh, we can cut up this cheddar. Oh, yeah. Don't give us some more color. Yeah, I'm going to put some more of this cheddar on there, too. Ooh. Blueberry trying to run away. Oh, yeah. And it's a good way to get the kids to eat their fruit. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know, we got to trick the kids. Get this package open. <laughs> it say easy open. Look at this. <laughs> okay, that would get the thing open right now. And look at these crackers. Those are good ones that got all the little vegetables and the onions and the chives in it. Mm hmm. So look, you can sneak in some vegetables on your kids. Mm hmm. You know. You don't have to be in a distinct way. Just yeah, just mind. make it however you want. Remember, it's your charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. We're just sparking the ideas. Yeah. See, Daddy, creative touches. <laughs> you know? Add some color to it. I feel like we're missing something. I feel like we're missing something. If we don't find out what we're missing, comment down below. What are we missing? What are we missing? Oh, I know. Oh. I found out what we're missing. The cheese that has the meat wrapped around it. Mm -hmm. That's what we were missing. Let's eat these by itself. And yes, you can. Then you just place them all around the board. Yeah, just place them around the board. So this is where the name tags will come in. You know, how you be at school too. Everybody got a head and name badge on <laughs> so you can remember who, who is, is who. who. <laughs> <laughs> Even at work, you know how it is. For some people, they can't remember names of co-workers, family, friends. Yep. Especially after the first couple of days of just meeting somebody new. Really can't catch your name again. What's your name again? Right. <laughs> I remember what you look like. Go ahead and open up your mustard. But this won't be my favorite thing. So this is what I want right there. I'm going to put another one right here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your Italian dry salami. Now we got a family of six. But this will definitely feed about seven to eight people. Mm -hmm. Depending on... You know how you're serving this, whether you're serving it as a pregame snack or a halftime special. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so far, comment down below and tell us what's your favorite. Yes. Whether you like the assorted meats, the salami, the cheese wrap meats, the wild card in the middle. You tell us. Oh, Daddy. You can tell he's excited about this game. He's oh, yeah. Kitchen. Hey, look, I'm ready to see my cowboys. You know, we ain't going to stomp a mud hole in them peoples, but we're going to go ahead and do our thing. Mm. This will be Dak first time back. You know, he's trying to get back into the hang of things. He's been gone for a while. You know, just to get that feeling you need when you when you come back off an of injury, man. You know, it's kind of scary. So he's going to have to get that first hit on him. So he can get his, you know, get his mind right. All right. So we've got this bad boy together. We got our some blueberries. We got good old cheeses. We got our wild card with the waffles, beef, 
We got regular sausage. We got wrap mozzarella, and pepperoni, prosciutto, another crazy meat I can't pronounce, salami. We got some crackers. Put some of this cheese on there. Put a little bit of this mustard on there. He like a lot of souls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we rocking. Y'all see that? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Was it worth the wait? Mm -hmm. Hold on, let's try another one. Go ahead and take the skin off. Put on some cheese. A little mustard. You gotta try it with this, um, the jellies too, though. Oh, I will. <laughs> Trust me, I will. Right now, I'm looking for some of that savory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Twan just came in here and snuck a dang on mozzarella, y'all. Mm-hmm. So, they ready. You got your cheesecake cut. Hold it up so they can get your grapes. Ooh. Comment down below and let us know what flavor y'all think this is, too. He's in here crushing. I'm going to slap a little bit of that on there. I'm going to put like two of these blueberries on there. Ready, bro? Yeah. And I'm going to punish this bad boy. Look, it's just mm. endless possibilities. You could just mm -hmm. put whatever you want, mix and match. A little bit of everything. Mm. Now, if y'all like this type of spread, y'all definitely got to check out our Bake Brie where we put some... We ain't going to tell you what we put in there. Y'all yeah, just got to go over there and watch it that out, video. But it did involve jellies. So, if you like hot cheeses, baked, hot, and bubbly right out the oven. <laughs> We're going to put a link above so y'all can watch that. And don't forget, once y'all put y'all charcuterie board together, let us know with how y'all like them. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And then, you know, as you go, if you need to replenish anything, you can just add to the board as you go. All right. Here go the kids fixing their plates. Yeah, I want a pepperoni one. I didn't get it.